Welcome to the Limitless Summit. I'm so excited you're here. Let's go. Hey, this is Daryl Keith Dandres. Hey, I'm a Christian husband, father, pop, pop, uh, pastor, and your professional financial educator. I am here at the Limitless Summit uh, Memphis. This has just been an amazing uh, three days. Uh, Ojinga uh, is my brother, and I am so proud of him. But the things uh, that he does and how he has uh, been able to help so many people change their lives, including me. Uh, the coaching that I have taken, uh, been a part of with him has really been uh, amazing. It's helped change my life, uh, brought me to tears, literally, our first session, and made me look and see some things about myself that I needed to uh, recognize and to change. But I tell you, he has been such a great support to me, and the reason that I have uh, been able to create a million-dollar business is because of Ojinga and what he does for so many people and so I'm glad that I put my pride aside and used my brother and I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Hey, Memphis Limited Summit is off the chain. I wish you were here. To worry about those anymore. You don't have to worry about those. Those limitations are within you. You don't have to worry about those limitations in your life. What I want you to work in, what I want you to push in, what I want you to know that you have are those strengths that you have. I want you to think about that with those strengths, that if you focus on those strengths, what will change in your life? Because when you look at the outcomes of what it is, then it's about creating the belief that's there. And I want you to remind yourself that if you live in those strengths, if you live in what it is that you want and who you are, then what it's going to create in your life. If you understand what I'm, what I'm saying here, make some noise right now. If you understand what I'm saying, those limitations are gone. Those limitations are gone. Here's what I want you to do, all right? I want you to get in a new group of three. And I want you to tell people what your five top strengths are. Hello, this is day three of the Limitless Summit. I have enjoyed this journey so much. It's been a wonderful experience. The only thing that's missing here is you. These people are amazing. Everything is just absolutely just wonderful. There's so much knowledge for me to share. You need to come to the next summit and be present in order to get all of this, these nuggets and all of these blessings. Thank you. The second part of that duo, though, is Trey Stafford. And so Trey is running a business now. He's, been, he's got all these different businesses that he has his hands in. He's done it in such a fast way. So he came in and taught us how it is that you figure out how to network the right way and be able to network and be able to create and bring in the people. And that just has been like, it's, it's been mind blowing for me. I learned so much. Have you sent a personal video message like what we just made Never to ever. someone in the past week? Go Jenga car has. Okay. Here is why that works. Because no one is doing it. No one is doing it. If you send a video to somebody saying, hey, I was thinking about you today, really excited about the opportunity to work with you, would love to get together again and talk about what that relationship would look like, I guarantee you send that personal video, they're at least going to watch you. So you better bring the passion. Right? Don't send them a halfway done video. Send them a video. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to get real estate, right? I mean, how awesome would that be? Let's get you in this new home, you know, right. like, come on and come see me to your buyers. Send it to them. This is a beautiful house. Come check it out with me, right? There's use cases for all of this. Think about that, right? You've got a, a, a list of prospects. You've got people that are in your deal pipeline. You're like, I just want them to pull the trigger. Why won't they do business with me right now? 
What's stopping them? Let's, let's talk to those people. Let's send them a video. All right, everybody, get your fellows back out. Right. We're going to send them a video today. You got that feeling? You got that discomfort? You're like, oh, I ain't making videos. I want to send it. Well, do more stuff that makes you uncomfortable. Do more of it. Videos make me uncomfortable, too. I get uncomfortable watching videos sometimes. I'm like, I can't watch this right here. I don't know what the person might say. You know, like, <laughs> they create a little bit of discomfort, but because of that, they, they evoke much more of an emotion, not only on our end, but on the receiving end as well. People really feel it, right? You're talking to them face to face. You care enough to take that time out of your day, your most valuable asset time. You take that time and you give it straight, directly, only to just them. Not to a generalized audience, not to an email list, not to a Facebook Live, <laughs> but to them personally. Hey everybody, it's Lakeisha Williams, the Senior Solutions Manager with Key Administration, LLC. I'm here at the Limitless Summit, day three of this event, and man, it has been so amazing. If you are looking for a great coach who understands every aspect of business, get connected with Ojinga Carr. He has all of the tools, the resources, great people on his team to help you take your business from here to here through the roof. Get in contact with him as soon as possible. And then there's my guy, Pat Dewar. Pat's been a part of the team crushing that family really from the start. And so Pat is an expert at strength-based leadership and how to be able to kind of put together the matrix of what it is when you look at someone, you can see their code and be able to see, this is how I really connect with this person. But Patrick, this time, taught us about how it is to process pain. And so he just took it from such a deep, deep place. And to be able to take it and say, this is how we process it. This is what we do with it. This is how we create it. It was amazing. It was amazing to see it. Many of us go through a breaking in, from the ages of about nine and 14. And when I mean breaking, I mean something happens. Some, some critical event occurs. And in many of our lives, it becomes a peg point. Now, what do I mean by a peg point? It's a, it's, it's a moment in time that in the future, if anything sounds like that, smells like that, feels like I'm going through the same thing, we go back and re-experience that moment all over again. And we express it as an adult. It's a peg point. It's, it's a place where a seed is planted that really can mess us up. Um, I'll give you an example. Seventh day, ninth grade for me, I was overseas. Ninth grade, um, my dad was the Air Force Control. We didn't make it a Y then. I made up for it later. So the point is, is that when I was in ninth grade, I used to play sports. I played uh, football, wrestling, soccer that year. And I had a couple of buddies that were with me, football, wrestling, you saw one, you saw all three. It was, uh, it was uh, you know, the Three Musketeers, right? Well, during, uh, during the uh, wrestling season, we had an away trip. And on this away trip, these two buddies of mine, my best friends, decided to pull a prank on me. Yeah. And it was kind of mean-spirited. And so I went to these two, and I said, guys, why would you pull that prank on me? And their, their response was just like this. They said, Pat, it's because we hate you. And we're amazed it's taken you so long to figure that out. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow. You know, guys, there are a lot of ways you could have told me you hated me. That just wasn't one of them. Right? So what did my 14-year-old brain do? It created an equation. If you prank me, it means you hate me. Yeah. Well, that stuck around. I mean, 14 years old, that, that, that little child's brain bought that and held on to that lie.
card. Who plays a shame card? Shame card. Shame card. What? Shame card. What? Shame card. Shame card. Shame card. Shame card. Anybody else play shame card? Shame card. Okay. How about anxiety? Anxiety. Your boots are okay. She's shaking in your boots already. Panic. 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 Who wants a panic card? Panic. 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 Okay, everybody. 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 Up on your feet. Up on your feet. Up on your feet. All right. I want you to pick up your cards, hold them in your hands. I want to see your decks of cards. These are your chains. These are your chains. These are your chains. These are the chains that are holding you back. What's happening, my fellow entrepreneurs? Look, if you're looking for the right event to go to, to discover your limitations and overcome them, and build this limitless personality within yourself, and this limitless environment, you need to plug into the Limitless event. Ojiga Carr has brought so much value into my life. He came to one of our events, plugged into us, sold into us entrepreneurs, and supported something that we had going on to show us, hey, we're out here too, we can collaborate. And if you have limitations within your own personality, within your own business, we've got some help that we can bring into you to help you discover how to build a limitless personality and a professional network. Come out and check out the CFIT, man. I'll be at everyone. One of the greatest things for me this time is I got the opportunity to be able to bring my daughter on stage as well too. And so Aaliyah came on and she shared with people from her youthful experience, from being 23, what it is, why is leadership important? Why do we need to be able to develop different streams of income? What is it that we need to do in our life? And so it was an unbelievably proud moment for me because I saw what it was that I had sold into another generation and what it was that she learned and picked up on her own and how she had kind of taken that and flipped that for herself. Miss Aaliyah Glover! <laughs> A lot of times we accumulate, oh, save, that's what you want to do, make sure you have a big savings account. But like Mr. Darrell said, you're letting your money sit in the bank and not do anything with it. What is saving it going to help you in the long run? If you're trying to even save a million dollars in your bank account, you need to start saving $3,000 a month for 27.6 years in order to create a million dollars. We all here want more. That's why we're here. But what are you currently doing to get more? Are you safe? Are you, well, I have my job and this business is just kind of a thing, you know, and I'm gonna try it. No, you have to be all in. You have to jump out on fear. You have to do that because you have to have failure in order to succeed. You won't know until you fail. Hello, hello. I am super, super excited. My name is Kim Broadway and I attended the Limited Summit today. This was my first summit and I have been seeing Mr. Dar Daryl Dandron on Facebook. Had no idea what this was all about. You all, I learned so much. Well, Luke just graduated from the Limitless Summit 2018. What I want you to do is open your eyes and go hug everybody. Five people to hug in this room. You guys are all